and four zero on the cotton candy machine. Two ninety two point four zero. If you have lost a key to your vehicle, come down here to the outlaw trailer. We've had an ignition key to a vehicle turned in. Come down here, tell them what it goes to. They'll give you the key vehicle down here at the outlaw trailer. Over on the super farm side, here comes Turbo Up, John Platty out of Hubbard, Iowa. John making a good run there. He had some issues last night. He said the timing slipped on him a little bit. Tractor pulled down. It seemed to run way better tonight. Not going to be enough to get him up in the top spots, but 292.97 for John over here on the Turbo Up machine. Anybody that did not hear that announcement, we've had an ignition key to a vehicle turned in at the Outlaw trailer. Come down here, tell them what it goes to, they will give you your key back. One ignition key at the Outlaw trailer. Somebody ain't leaving tonight till you come see us, so you might as well check your pockets and do it now. Had a young man by the name of Kyle Pesh. Backing in over here on the modified side. Kyle out of Milford, Nebraska. Running a little different setup than what you've seen so far. You've seen the Rolls Royce. You've seen the twin Hemi. Now you're going to see the turbines. These turbines, they're running a T55 Lycoming. Turned up to 110%. That is the highest the federal government will let them spend. These engines is 110%. Of their rating. Kyle here last night got to bouncing a little bit. Couldn't get it leveled out. Didn't have the pass he was looking for. But you'll notice the wheel speed on this tractor. And when he takes off, there is no throttle. Once he gets into it, gives it all it's got, that's what it is. Wide open to right, oh, Kyle Pesh. Thermal Thunder. Distance for Kyle, 256.79. Cameron Neves still going to be in the lead there. Just has to make the announcement. If you do not have a wristband on, you are not to be inside the fences along the pull tracks. If you are with a puller as a support member, you need to get with that puller and find out where your wristband is. If you're inside the fences without a wristband, you will be asked to move outside. Good run for Kyle. Listen to that turbine as he pulls off and winds it down. On the super farms, here comes Chad Weisenkamp, the someday tractor out of Hooper, Nebraska. Good looking pass for the someday. Had the front end bouncing a little bit. Hurt the distance some. But it but a nice pass for Chad on the someday tractor out of Nebraska. Got two vehicles left. 
coming up in the super farm class. This next one is going to be a horse of a different color, so to speak. Something you're not typically used to seeing on a pull track. They've been doing a fine, fine job with it since they brought it out. Over on our modified track, our next competitor is going to be yet another different engine combination. So we've seen the big Rolls Royce. We've seen the turbines. We've seen the twin Hemis. Now you're going to see the triple Chevrolets. And you ask, well, why do the Hemis have two? The Chevrolets have three. Well, the Hemis are run fully blown. No limitations on them. Run what you brung. Build them as big and as bad as you can. 1871 Supercharger, one of the very few rules limiting the Hemis. The Chevrolets, we run them detuned, is what they call it. You can run three of them, but you can only run the 871 Superchargers. So with the 871s and the wedge heads, they figured that they'll make roughly the same horsepower as two of the Hemis with the 1471 and the Hemi heads. This tractor here got a really nostalgic look to it. it used to be a very popular style back in the 80s, early 90s, the stair step engines. These guys do a lot of their own engine work, machine work on this rig, and they will turn these Chevrolets higher than you have ever heard them turn in your life. They wind these things for everything they're worth. Had a couple of issues with the tractor two weeks ago up in Nebraska. Seemed to have everything worked out here for White Ride. Greg going to be shooting for the distance of the cotton candy out there at 292. And 46, going to have to be 292 and change if he wants to move into the lead here this evening. How about that one? Kind of a wild ride, bucking and bouncing, snorting on him. Sweet Payne going to have a distance of 250 and 44. I can tell you they didn't have all the engine problems worked out. What looked like smoke coming out of that one was actually raw alcohol. That was cylinders dead missing right there. So that machine was not running on every hole here this evening. They'll take it back to Iowa, try to get it lined out for the next event in a couple of weeks. I told you we had a unique vehicle coming out on the super farm side. That big new Holland over there, that color is called Maserati Blue. You can actually go to New Holland, order your tractor, and get this color on it. This is going to be the Spanky's Toy Machine from Scribner, Nebraska. Mr. Mark Roberts setting in the seat. 328.44, the leading distance. Spanky's Toy. Two ninety one and forty gonna be the distance for the Spanky Stoy tractor. Two ninety one and forty. Wanna be, Want be sure to thank Air Dog, heavy duty diesel fuel systems with their fuel pure flow technologies. Contact Air Dog and find out what they can do for you. Graham tire service. Check out a Graham tire dealer nearest to you next time you need tires for your car, pickup, tractor, payloader, SUV, whatever it may, may be, check out Graham Tire Service 
And don't forget to mention the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pullers promo code. Tell them you heard about it right here at White Wright, Texas. Diesel Performance and Engineering. They've sponsored a couple classes 